Good morning everyone and welcome to Suburban Stone Age and today's video is about pegmatites and it's really actually a quick little video for a fellow youtuber me minor um, up in Canada who recently was in the hospital and uh, I've enjoyed a lot of his videos on all the interesting geology up in Canada including pegmatites and so I promised when I heard that he was in the hospital, that I'd make him a pegmatite video to pass the time. Fortunately, I think he's better um, and has been released. But anyway, that this little video is for him. Here we go. So what you're looking at is a pegmatite. And as a quick review, pegmatites, um, it's a textural term. And that texture is very, very large crystals. Okay, so that's a crystal, that's a feldspar. We got a quartz here. Um, a smaller crystal texture would be something like this here. Can you see it? See how the grains are really small? This I think is what they call a graphic granite texture, which is also common in pegmatites and part of the process, but it does illustrate how you go from these tiny little textures here and then there seems to be some kind of a transition that happens. And then all of a sudden you start getting this big quartz. You get big, well big for us anyway, but big mica crystals. And depending on how the rock breaks is, you know, how you see them. So like, for example, here in the pegmatite, this, this guy here is a mica crystal on end. So why are pegmatites cool? Well, pegmatites are cool because they have crystals in them. Um, they're an interesting texture. And they form when you have a, a, a body of rock. In, in this case, it's a, a granite. The country rock, the host rock, is, is a plutonic granite. And somewhere along the line, um, this pegmatite at a later time was injected up through fractures in that rock and it cooled. Now, traditionally, people say that it cooled very slowly because the crystals are so large, but I've also seen some videos that say that there's some interesting features that happen in pegmatites where the crystals, although large, cool very quickly. So I will, uh, I'll put a link to that video in a description below. I thought that that was very interesting. But <clears throat> pegmatites are interesting because they can very, very rarely produce gem quality crystals and other interesting specimens sadly this pegmatite that i've discovered is not one of those it seems to be a simple pegmatite what you see in here there's some mineralization but you see like i say the the typical suspects you see once you get into this zone here where the large crystals are there's a lot of graphic granite that i've seen on this particular pegmatite formation but then you get these large feldspar crystals when you get into this zone here and again larger um, quartz crystals and then you get uh, mica and also you do see magnetite which is <clears throat> looks like something like that it's a lot it's it's a lot more rare than some of the other uh, minerals that are there but it is there so yeah Fun. This is the first pegmatite that I've ever found on my own. In a second here, I'll show you some of the, although not valuable in any way, but just kind of cool crystal formations that you can, you can see in pegmatites. Okay, so here are some other examples of samples that I've brought home from that pegmatite. I bring them home just so I can study them. Like, when I first found this, I... Knew something was different, but I had no idea what pegmatites were or how they even worked. I just thought it was a really interesting rock, and I brought it home and began to learn all about it. There is some more. I think that is that is for the feldspar. These are the large quartz crystals. So uh, some of the cool stuff that you can find. Check out, like, here's a very cool, really large feldspar crystal that I, I was able to find. I love that shape. That was just a really fun attractive shape and you can see how it kind of grew out of this other smaller textured uh, rock here again another one here just love that 
so cool. That's what actually caught my eye is, is these interesting shapes. Here's a pretty good view of this graphic granite texture. That's where the quartz is intergrown with the feldspar in such a way that it forms these like uh, columns, I guess. So that's graphic granite. And I guess they, they named it graphic granite because when you look at it cut a certain way, it looks like, I guess, cuneiform writing or old writing, runic writing. It's also called runic granite. But you can see it, it's part of a, it can be part of how pegmatites form and it's part of a zone of transition. So this is the graphic granite zone. And then again, you start right around here, boop, 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 boop. you start to see how then all of a sudden it, the nature of the rock changes and it becomes these much, much larger crystals. So interesting. Here's another like freestanding feldspar crystal that has broken away, but it's got those just cool crystal planes on it. And then here's a, you know, more graphic granite. So this is all a part of me trying to understand the geology that I find out in the world. And, um, you know, I really love that because it just, I think the real soul of a certain area begins with its geology. And that's what makes places, very special places, very special, is what's under the ground. So that's my pegmatite exploration. I really wish I had some glorious, beautiful, rare, exotic, gemstone to show you and not just mica books which are pretty common like you can see here i think that's a muscovite i wish i had something super fancy to show you but i don't however that's par for the course when you go rock hounding you don't always need the big sexy gems as a win just appreciating the the rocks for what they are and the story that they tell is the treasure so Thanks again for watching, and again, me miner, I hope you get better. I really enjoy your videos. Thank you very much for making them. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy the projects we do here on this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it, and leave a comment if you have questions. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.